Okay. Sandy? Sandy? Tell us your story, Sandy. I am a two-time, 19-year breast cancer survivor. I was originally diagnosed in 1991, and my breast cancer was found through a mammogram. If I hadn't had that mammogram, I don't know if I would be alive today. Probably not. Great. Thank you. Anybody else want to say something while we're alive? Mammogram save lives. It's all about the money with the government. They want to save money, not lives. Linda, one more time. I, I did diagnostic mammograms for 12 years, and when they finally discovered something, it wasn't a lump, it was a small, it was state zero, and so I'm all about preventive. I almost feel like it was preventive because it's a state zero. And uh, we know this is about rationing, and it is about the money, like Leslie said. So right. we're going to fight. We'll take our bras off, too, if we need to. <laughs> So taking off bras is not just a left, a liberal thing? No. <laughs> now we'll get the right breath and the left breath. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Not just the right breath. Thank you, ma'am. Good. Any good words of wisdom here? You're, you're actually on live right now up to the net. Okay. Oh, really? My main dog died in 1946 with breast cancer. And a neighbor that died in her late 30s with breast cancer. A lot of my friends have had it and survived because of their mammogram, and I don't want to take it. Great. Thank you. I'm concerned because I have two daughters, and I don't want them ever to have to go through what I've gone through. So they need to have mammograms, and they need to have them earlier than age 50. So you don't mind if they self-examine? Oh, absolutely. They better be doing it right now. <laughs> even though the government says not to? Yes, even though the government. They can do it in secret, but, or in private. Okay, thank you.